Like the whole last night. You know how cold it was? I went to sleep. I went to sleep. I was in sweats, in a sweatshirt, had a mohair blanket on my bed, and a bathrobe over it. It's Southern California. And my comforter. Yeah. And I was still cold. Yeah, that's a guy that's a jogger, but it's still only in the 50s right now. Yeah, oh, I guess we should be talking about news. Yeah, well, it yes. is news in Southern California. It's it cold. is, because actually they said it was colder in Southern California than Central Park. Yeah, see, you can see there's nobody on the beach down there, so. Yeah. So anyway, well, meanwhile, we're here with Old Cam for OFN and his video web with comments on the headlines of today. The Republicans have been told, well, it is all right for the president to insult you and your family. No personal attacks on him are to be condoned. I know that's responding. That means also you may not respond to it. If, if the President of the United States says that your daughter is picking up money from the Seventh Fleet, he, you can't respond to it and say she's not because the Republicans. Okay, what it means is the Republican National Committee has condoned themselves to the fact that Obama is being reelected president and they have decided to let him do whatever he wants to do because they, uh, they're not going to stop it. They're going to concentrate on winning the Senate instead. Senate Democrats to offer new tax cut plan. The new tax cut plan is the same plan as before. Raise the taxes on the wealthy. I mean, here, here's the way it works, folks. Obama says that the 300,000 wealthiest people in this nation should support the 160 million that aren't wealthy. Uh, anybody ever hear the fact that the minority, about the, about the laws in minorities in this country, you cannot put the weight of bearing of anything on the minorities. So. He basically shows himself to be a, a, a racist and a, a bigot, so which they won't point out because that's attacking the president. And Sarkozy and Merkel kick off week of crisis talks in Paris. I love this one. They, as of today, announced officially what everyone knew they were going to announce. It may be, it may be before Christmas before we be able to fix this problem. Well, they okay. Every week they put this thing off later, and yet their market goes up. Okay. Two of the markets go down, one the, the Dow goes up because the Dow is basically building among itself, not among anyone else anymore. And the U.S. official says no sign Iran shot down drones. It probably just fell down of its own accord because the Iranians do have the new drone. Yeah. It's also possible that the Pakistanis just simply gave one to them. Really? Yeah. And Italy PM Monti unveiled sweeping austerity which isn't going to be a, they, they, they uh, okay, what happens is the Greek government will fall after the next election, the Italian government will fall after the next election, the Spanish government will fall after the next election. All of these countries that are doing the austerity packages will fall because they all have socialist governments and they're going to just simply elect somebody else that will cancel the austerity package and, and bow out. They said at least one of the countries this morning in the Eurozone, one of the major countries is going to walk out of it because they Oh, are, really? Said they, that's a uh, really big deal. Yeah, so that's how it's going to be, folks. Yeah, and two elderly women object to security search at JFK. Well, yeah, because uh, first of all, they point out the fact that old women and, uh, and old Caucasians and little kids don't carry bombs aboard airplanes. They all know they don't. But what happens is, if you give people authority, they will often abuse the authority that they've gotten. S&P piles pressure on the EU budget plan. Well, yeah, they're wanting, uh, they're wanting an answer, and as they, they got the answer this morning, we hope to have it settled by uh, Christmas. That's, that's, you know, but don't worry, that caused the American market to go up again, because the American market just seems to love to have uncertainty anymore. And they've got a huge lift. They got a huge rechargeable battery. Really big. I mean, they would not. Okay, we put it this way: you could not send uh, on a cargo plane those batteries across the country. So they have to use trains and um, trains and uh, land transportation in order to move them. Doesn't that say that you shouldn't be manufacturing little beggars? Oh, the morning after people. Yeah. Being looked at by the, for FDA approval. Well, no, they, they got turned down this morning. Oh, they did. Oh, yeah. They that got, was to make it over the counter. That was, uh, yeah, and they got turned down. So, you know, they, well, they love that FDA is all left wing liberal and they turned down a left wing liberal priority. Well, because it, it's not covered under Obamacare.
a lot of things are not covered under Obamacare. Oh, so that's why they were trying to make it over the counter? Yeah, so that you could purchase it, because, uh, but you, as you will find out more and more as they read the fine print now, that virtually nothing is covered under Obamacare. So, but you're going to be paying for it. You're going to like what you got, because it's going to be worse than what you had. Yeah, I thought it was, said it was supposed to be better? Uh, Obama did. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you can, yeah, you can keep what you had. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> which you can't, which they find out, found that out. Now, this is an unusual one. A uh, woman's body found hidden under Christmas columns. I don't, I think you might have noticed it, folks. That's, yeah, or at least smelled it. Yeah, that, well, okay, you can't go to the beach without, you know, when you smell a dead animal over here, it, you, you know, you know when something is dead. So if somebody was dead and nobody noticed the odor, does not happen. <laughs> oh, let's see. <laughs> Advertisers rule. Just ask Alec Baldwin when it comes to what, the airline. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is a good one. He does an airline's ad. Uh, you know, you know, he's and you know for um, was it Capital One, and now he's had a problem with an airline. But the problem was, they put him on the very next flight from the same company he had a problem with, which means there was a problem with the the people on the plane, not with him. Oh. Well, because TSA, TSA has no sense of humor about anything. If there's no, they a, don't. I mean, the, the, and here's the cute part: was the plane he he beat the plane to he beat the plane to where his location was because the plane didn't leave. It, it still sat on the tarmac after he left. Well, I'll tell you, if an airplane was sitting on the tarmac for an hour and a half, I'd be playing with my games. I know. <laughs> so I mean, I... You're killing time. <laughs> and he's playing word games because he's an actor and he's trying to. You know, it basically... And board games aren't as noisy as other... It's not like you're playing no, like a shooting game. No, he, or, he's playing a word... Like he's using a word game because he's trying to keep his mind fresh for what he had to do later in the day. So, he still got to do it, but, uh, he, you know... He also got his Twitter account axed as a result of it, too. It's the power of uh, sponsors, folks. Yeah. Clothing giant H&M defends perfect virtual models. Um, they're they're not real. I mean, you, why would you have a, a model that you know? It basically, you, you're trying to see what the clothes look like on the best possible figure. The H and M doesn't make size 99 to begin with, folks. <laughs> I, I don't see any problem with the perfect virtual models. Because it's Cause a, they're modeled after models, aren't they're they? They're modeled after they've taken the best features of X amount of models, created virtual models to see the clothes on. And you're wanting the clothes to be seen at its best. Okay, we, we know for a fact. Yeah, you're supposed to be looking at the clothes, not the models, right? That, yeah, if you can see uh, clothes on the rack, they look entirely different than when they're on the person. So, uh. so it's the same thing. You want the clothes to look the best on a model who's going to be too tall and too trim for the average person. Wait, was it the models complaining that they thought they might be out of a job? No, it was uh, it was people that tended to force the, the okay if. H&M doesn't carry their size. Those were the people that were complaining about the virtual model. Well, they don't carry their size anyway. I know, but that <laughs> it, it means that, uh, you know, I didn't even know H&M wasn't an American company until oh, I read not? the article. No, it's a uh, Scandinavian company. Scandinavian? Co yeah. yeah. Um, Rome City Council takes down unpopular Christmas tree. They put a paper mache tree up. So? Uh, they they took it down to put up a real pine tree. Like he said, better. he said it. What the like the people in Rome, Mayor, Mayor of Rome, said it's not like we don't have pine trees in Italy. So they put up a paper mache tree, like a a, a forty or fifty foot paper mache. Tree. Forty or fifty tree? I bet it looks must have cost a fortune. It, it looked like have. a paper mache tree. Was it cool? I want to you know, see it. Looked it looks like, like an inverted co ice cream cone. Mm -hmm. That's all it was, with with lights on it. It looked ugly as heck. So. Rome staff spent nearly one hundred thousand dollars to hide records. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, you know, it's, it's called politicians. I mean, politicians, government officials, and business leaders. But you know, instead of just taking things and destroying them, they had to spend money to hide them. <laughs> the U.S. Postal Service seeks to end next day mail. Yeah, they announced it during the the, the biggest week of the year to basically try to force people into, uh, it, it went nowhere. I mean, I, I thought it was going to go on deaf ears of Congress. Congress will let them, well, you can cut back on this, but in, 
and then you can do that, but you are not going to uh, delay the mill. I mean, that's, uh, that, that's, that, that was an oxymoron. They're known for, sir, they're, for delivering the mill, so unless we get more money, we're not going to deliver the mill. Well, then well they where would they own commercial where they, they always deliver the mill no matter if it's sleet or snow or whatever? Not anymore, is. so... Animosity bubbleism from the Mark Twain of Animal Kingdom. If you all climbed the last mountain needed to be climbed, you have no reason to be upset.